Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's chapter. Today, we will learn factors of polynomial. Factors of polynomial, we need to learn three things, which is a very easy chapter, including factor theorem, remainder theorem, and long division. So, what is the meaning of factor theorem? It means that if we substitute the value of the factor into the function, we are resulting in fx equals to zero. Or if you sub in the value of x, if you found that the result fx is zero, you can confirm this value is a factor also. So let's see the questions. First, they ask you to show that this thing is a factor of this. If is a factor means that x plus three equals to zero, x equals to minus three. So after we know the value of x is minus three, then we sub in f minus 3 equals to and if you keen calculator you found that it is 0 you gain this mark this is how you can confirm whether it is a factor or not next question they say the polynomial p is given by this equation they ask you to show that x equals to 0 0.25 is a root so you sub in your x as this then you key in and see whether it's 0 so p minus 0 0.25 And you found that it is zero. This is how you show that x equals to negative 0 0.25 is a root. So you gain one mark. We go to the second theorem, which is remainder theorem. So it's exactly the same as factor theorem, which you also subs in the value. They say find the remainder when it's divided by this. So we know that x plus one equals zero, x equals to minus one. So we subs in x equals to minus one. But for remainder theorem, instead of your whole equation get zero, you get another value, and then the value will be the remainder, just like that. So we subs in. We found out this is 24. So the remainder is 24. We see some combo questions. So here have two unknowns, means that you need to form two equations. This is for this equation, they have a factor of x minus 3, means that x equals to 3. So the first equation is a factor, so this thing is 0. Equation 1, and then we can form the second equation by telling you remainder is minus 12 when divided by x plus 1, which means when x equals to minus 1, remainder is minus 12. Subs in 1 into 2. When we get m is 6, then n equals to minus 5. So we can confirm what is the value of m and n. This question still have one part. They ask us to find the remainder when px is divided by x minus 2. When x equals to 2, what is the remainder? So you get minus 24. So congratulations, you gain 6 mark. Okay, so after we do factor theorem, remainder theorem, one more technique is you need to know how to do long division. So if cubic equation divided by a linear equation, you get the quadratic. This question asks us to do this and then asks us to find the value of p, 1 over 2, so we do this part first. So you get it's 0, so we can confirm x equals to half as the root. So 2x minus 1 is one of the factor. We can confirm our 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 23x plus 12 can divide by 2x minus 1. We are doing long division. You need to make sure something times the first part will be exactly the same as this. So 2x times x squared will give you exactly 2x cubed. x squared also need to times minus 1 to form minus x squared. This uh, first step, we use the upper part minus the bottom part. So 2x cubed minus 2x cubed, nothing else. Okay, so this is the reason we need to make this thing exactly the same. Minus 3x squared plus x squared will become minus 2x squared. Then we pull one more. What times 2x become minus 2x squared? Minus x. 
minus x times minus 1 will become plus x. So this minus this will be minus 24x. 2x, how to become minus 24? We times minus 12. Just nice. Nothing left, no remainder. So congratulations, we successfully get the quadratic. This question asks us to write Px as a product of three linear factors. So we know that the first factor it is 2x minus 1. We do long division, we get x squared minus x minus 12. This part, we know how to factorize it in math. This is how we write a linear factor. x power 1, x power 1, x power 1. And then Hans asks you to solve this. 2x minus 1 equals 0, or x minus 4 equals to 0, or x plus 3 equals 0. And I will know x is 1 over 2, x is 4, x is minus 3. So the next question to give you an equation that have two unknown. Then they give us two information. They will say it have a remainder of 11 when divided by x minus 3, which means when x equals to 3, you get this remainder. And remainder of minus 21 when divided by x plus 1, which means x equals to minus 1, you get this. Two information from two equations. You can solve this to unknown. Find these two unknown first before we see what they say here. Equation 1, so we solve 1 into 2, then B equals B is 20. Congratulations, you get what is A and B. You know your Px is. They say Px can be right in x minus 2 is the first factor, and then you have qx, which is a quadratic factor. So we do long division. Divided by x minus 2, what times x becomes 6x cubed? We use 6x squared. And then remember, up minus down, minus 11x. Minus 10 will so it's just nice. Qx is 6x squared minus 11x minus 10. Congratulations, six months. We try one more past years, which again they give you two unknown, give you two information. Factor of x minus 4, so means when x minus 4, the whole equation will give you zero. And it's such that this equation. Then everything I divided by 16. So B equals to 4A minus 5. So this equation 1. Using this, I can form second equation. So I substitute 1 into the equation. We subs 1 into 2. Okay. A equals 6, B equals to 4 times 6 minus 5, 19. So after we get what is our A and B, we can list it down. Then they ask us to show that Px can be right in this way. Again, long division. Congratulations, we know that Px equals to x plus 4, 6x squared minus 5x plus 1. So we found what is our a, b, c, 6 marks. Then they ask you to factorize Px. Congratulations, we do math method factorization. Then we gain last month. So this question do not ask us to solve. They do not ask us to solve, so we do not need to write these. Not necessary, because they do not request us to solve. Okay, done this chapter. It's very easy, right? Congratulations, you already complete factors of polynomials. So all the best, and hope this class really helped you. Thank you. See you next class.